and Navarro's comments may come off as deeply emotional, yet they starkly highlight a disturbing lack of empathy and respect, crucial elements for any constructive public dialogue. Biden had been up there giving that speech, men in white coats would have interrupted him and carted him off and put him in a padded wagon. I thought today I would wake up and the, and the TV would be full of like doctors talking about uh, Donald Trump's uh, cognitive decline. I thought it would be full of Republicans hanging their heads in shame like Democrats did. Uh -huh. Joe Biden had a bad 90 minute debate. He said it's one episode. That's what we've seen so far. What we saw yesterday was a replay of Trump's 90 minute constant rallies. It's too bad. The bandage was just over his ear. It should have been over his mouth. <laughs> Her remarks are not just seen as rude. They are perceived as downright disrespectful, especially considering the gravity of the assassination attempt. Engaging in polite discourse is paramount when discussing matters of personal injury or life-threatening events. Ana Navarro's words about the bandage seem to trivialize significant occurrences and display a glaring lack of compassion.